The president used his 17-minute primetime address to talk about gun legislation. It was really a speech directed at Congress to do something, as we've seen several mass shootings in this country in just the last few weeks. Enough, enough, enough. The president wants legislation that would ban assault weapons and high-capacity magazines, and he said if that can't happen, he wants Congress to raise the age to purchase those things from 18 to 21. He wants stronger background check laws, safe storage laws, red flag laws. He wants to repeal the immunity of gun manufacturers, and he wants legislation to address the mental health crisis. These are rational, common-sense measures. Now, both the House and the Senate have been working this week on some kind of gun legislation. Both, though, have very different ideas of what it should look like. There is movement in the House on a pretty large package that includes some of the things the president talked about tonight. But it is very unlikely that that package will pass the 60 vote threshold in the Senate. And on the flip side, a fairly large group of bipartisan senators have been meeting this week to discuss some gun related measures, including red flag laws, mental health assistance, some background check laws and funding for school security. Now, we should know next week if those talks yield any results. The president says if they don't, he hopes voters will step in. I believe the majority of you will act to turn your outrage into making this issue central to your vote.